We're guys with Rise, and today we're going to be showing you the basics of driving a manual. Before we actually start driving, let's get into the basics of things. The first thing you'll notice is that a manual car has three pedals instead of two. The brake and the gas are in the same place, but the pedal on the left is called the clutch. In an automatic, the car changes gears for you, hence the term automatic. But in a manual, this is what you'll be using to change between gears. The next thing you'll see is the gear stick. Most cars will come in either 5 or 6 speeds, and the one we're in today has 6. Before you start driving, you should play around with the gear stick a little, and make sure you know where all the gears are. All cars will have the same basic setup with first gear to the left and up, second to the left and down, third in the middle and up, fourth is in the middle and down, fifth is right and up, and sixth is right and down. While this particular car has reverse all the way up and left, many cars have reverse in different positions, which is why it's best to know your car before you attempt to drive it. Lastly, when the gear stick is in the middle, it's in neutral. It is important to remember that the only time your car can come to a complete stop without stalling is when you're in neutral or when the clutch is pushed all the way in. Practice shifting through the gears with the clutch pushed in before you actually attempt driving. Another thing you'll notice is the parking brake. Unlike in an automatic, manual cars don't have a gear for park, so to park this car, all you need to do is pull the parking brake up, and for extra safety you live in in first gear. Now let's start driving. Make sure your seat's adjusted so that you're in a comfortable position and you can push the clutch all the way in, and make sure your mirrors are properly adjusted as well. In order to turn on your car, you need to push in the clutch all the way, and either push the button or turn the key. Some cars will actually require you to push both the clutch and the brake to get it started. First release the parking brake, and to back up, you'll push in the clutch and put the shifter in reverse. Now you slowly let go of the clutch until you, until you feel the car starting to move. At that point, you hold it right where it is and very lightly tap on the gas to get you moving a bit more. If you feel you're going too fast, then push the clutch back in and just feather it out slowly again. When you're driving in reverse, unless for some weird reason you decide to have a backwards race with someone, you don't ever want to fully let go of the clutch because that'll cause you to launch backwards with much more force than you ever want to. Now comes the hardest part about driving a stick, getting going in first gear. Before you start trembling in fear, don't worry because we've got a secret to make it very easy for you. Make sure you're in an empty parking lot with lots of space to practice. Okay, now do this. Push in the clutch and put the car in first gear. Now, without touching the gas, slowly let go of the clutch. At a certain point, the car will start to move forward, and at that point, you hold the clutch in place. That point where you're holding the clutch is called the catch of the bite point. This is where the clutch engages the transmission. What you want to do next is give it just a little bit of gas, keeping your RPMs around 1800, and the car will start to move a lot faster. Now you slowly let go of the clutch until your foot is completely off of it. The key here is to slowly let go. If you let go too fast, the, jerk, the car will jerk and might stall. On the other hand, don't give it too much gas because then you'll launch the car. To prevent this from happening, the ideal RPM would be around 1800 until you fully let go of the clutch. Once your foot is completely off the clutch and you've got the car moving, you should just cruise around the parking lot in first gear, stopping and starting until you get the feel of the catch point. Remember, this is the hardest part about driving sticks, so be sure to practice this the most. Once you got this down, the rest is a piece of cake. Now for changing gears. So generally, first gear is only used at very low speeds, such as pulling out of your mom's garage and parking lots. Once the RPMs hit around 3500, you'll want to push in the clutch and pull down the shifter into second gear. Be sure to let off the gas when you push the clutch in. Once you're in second gear, you slowly let go of the clutch while giving it gas at the same time, just as you did to get started. If you're able to do this, then you've officially learned how to drive a stick because the rest of the gears work the exact same way. Once you've got enough practice, you can go into the road and try it out for yourself. When you're coming to a stop, for now you can just put it in a neutral and use the brake. Eventually, you'll want to learn how to downshift, and we'll teach you that in a later video. For now, just practice what she taught you and congratulations. You've learned how to drive a stick, and go impress all your friends. If this video helped you out, make sure to like it and subscribe to Guys With Rise. If you guys want to see something explained better, you want to see us post a video about downshifting, just comment below and we'll do it right away. Thanks a lot. I'll you too. Thank <laughs> you.